New air conditioner here. My name is Ben, thanks for stopping by. This is a 410A unit and uh, we are going to be just checking what our pressures are looking like here on initial startup. So uh, the outdoor ambient temperature right now is about 75 degrees uh, right there. This has a nice handy uh, chart here that's giving us our outdoor pressures. So um, evaporator suction pressure is up here at the top. So that's what we're monitoring here with our blue hose. The suction line, or the low side line, is always going to be the big line. So you have two lines coming out of the air conditioner, the big one is your suction line. So we're monitoring that pressure right here. Now uh, this particular set of gauges can give us our, our uh, saturation temperature. Right now it's at 33 degrees, which is good, it's above freezing at least here. Just started, so it's going to take it a few minutes to average out. Um, but uh, we're just going to see where this ends up. We'll kind of let it stabilize here for a bit. Uh, we'll go look at the coil. So I'll just take a note of the pressure here, 109 PSI. And we are right at 109 PSI right here. Drops down on the 75 uh, to 42 degrees evaporator suction pressure or temperature sorry so we are looking absolutely fantastic here 75 outdoor ambient 109 psi 110 now so so here we down at our down at the evaporator this system has a an orifice in it so right here is where the orifice goes so the liquid line comes down here and goes in uh, so this is a fixed regulating device, meaning the more pressure comes from the outside unit, the more Freon gets pushed into the coil. So your pressures vary uh, significantly based on ambient conditions. So what that means is you need to pay attention to your outdoor temperature or and your indoor temperature, which is about 70 degrees here right now. Uh, otherwise, you can't really get a good uh, estimation on how the system charges. Now if your system has a TEV, thermal expansion valve, then you can't really charge the system based on the pressure of the low side at all, whatsoever. So if your system has a TEV, basically it's a thing that has a, a coil and a bulb, that, that uh, little copper tube thing that straps to the side of your suction line, if it has that, you cannot charge based on pressures. This system you can because it's a traditional uh, standard efficiency system. So that's a fixed regulating uh, regulating device. So it's kind of like a capillary tube system that's similar. So there's our final read, 115 psi. We're still within our range here, so that's looking pretty terrific. So we're not going to need to make any adjustments to this uh, particular unit. It was uh, had the correct amount of Freon in it from the manufacturer, so that's great. Now we're going to take our hose off while the system is running, because your low side pressure is lower while the unit is running, and there should just be gas in here and no liquid right now because um, it is up and running and running correctly. So we go ahead and take this off. Keep your fingers off to the side of it and wear gloves for this. <laughs> There we go. Beautiful. If you were to wait until the system was off, it would not work nearly as well. You'd have a lot of liquid and it would, it would be not very fun taking it off. So that's been it. I appreciate you watching. It's a, uh, this is also why with a standard system like this, you cannot charge or work on these when it's below say 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, because it's just too low of an outdoor ambient temperature and there's not enough pressure in the condenser because if it's too cold it lowers that pressure in the condenser significantly which means it's going to reduce the flow going into the A-coil in the house so just nothing works uh, if it's if it's a lot lower so anyway uh, another time I'll show you you can actually take and block off the condenser partially while it's cold out it's really not effective for getting an accurate charge, um, but it does give you a little bit more of an indicator to see how the system is operating. Um, and it's kind of intriguing. So 
maybe I'll make a video on that sometime. Hit that thumbs up button if this helped you out, and uh, feel free to subscribe for more videos. I appreciate you hanging out, and we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.